This is Matt Donnelly at the RAPS South by Southwest 2017 interview studio at the Plexus Lodge in Austin, here with the star and filmmaker of Behind the Curtain, Todrick Hall. We have Mr. Todrick Hall and um, Catherine Fairfax Wright. Welcome so much. Thank you. This doc is about the making of your first feature length project that I, I gather is, is it all independently financed and all yes, that kind of stuff? Yes, wow. basically. <laughs> yes. I but wish that weren't the case. Which you've always been doing. I mean, you've done like complete. Disney princess mashup musical things on like it's just so impressive that you've been able to make the incredible quality content you have for so long and it's all you where well, did this all come from um, well I've been making videos for a while online but this was like a much bigger project than I ever embarked on and the most difficult part of it all was that I didn't realize how big of an undertaking it would be and I had none of the people from my regular team right. so it was really awesome to have like new people to work with and a new team and people who were so eager and excited and motivated and also honestly to have Catherine on the team she yeah. came on just to be the director um, but then she ended up basically being a part of our, not only our team but our family she helped us like with costumes <laughs> like half of the costumes in the documentary or My mom was sewing them yes it's, it was crazy I mean the the whole project wouldn't have happened without her in fact I feel like in some cases, there are things you might not be able to see on the documentary because she was so busy working <laughs> and helping us. But I think that the energy of the documentary is so great because she was actually a part of the team. Absolutely. And so the doc does follow the production of Straight Out of Yeah, Straight it follows of, sort of uh, all so three parts. The creation of the album, the creation of the visual album, and the creation of the stage show, and then also uh, the tour of the stage show around so the country. Meta and like, it's just so much going yeah. on. I want to ask you, you, you make a great point about like, you, so you're still sort of financing and, and conceiving all this yourself, but you are, in many respects, a, a sort of YouTube celebrity, so certainly a social media star. That must be a, such an interesting dynamic to play in because you, you obviously have this amazing creative vision, and then you've got the celebrity out here in this other space, and like, when do the two meet, or do you not care if they meet, or...? I really honestly don't look at myself as a celebrity at all, which is like a very difficult thing. I'm very open with people and I, I think I get too close to people too fast. So that's something that I work on every day, realizing that other people might view me as that. I don't think that's something that I'm aware of because it's just like a, you know, like something that I live every day, but it's not something that I really take into account when I'm making art. I just want to make things that I love and write music and songs that I love that tell stories. And this was really fun for me to do and also like very um, vulnerable for me to do because I had been such a like Pee Wee Herman, Katy Perry loving Disney type of person up until this project. And then after I did this, it was the, the, the scariest thing I'd ever done to put out real things about my life, but the audience responded to it so well. And I'm glad that I met Catherine at this level of my life or at this chapter of my life because she probably would have had no interest in doing the videos that I was doing prior to this. And um, it was just, I think everything happened for a reason. It was the perfect time for me to meet such a wonderful human yeah, being. That was sort of immediately apparent to me too because the trailer had already been released before I came on for um, Straight Out of Oz. And I could see there was sort of a departure between, you know, there was a gap between his old work, which is also, you know, there's a reason why he's garnered such a following through that work. But um, there was a jump forward or some elsewhere, sideways or something, <laughs> to, to get to Straight Out Oz. And so it, I just had a hunch that there was sort of a, st a story there between, you know, what made him sort of take that leap. and. And I think it is all the, the vulnerability and intimacy that he's talking about. Well, I mean, congratulations on the album, visual album, documentary about the album, the visual album, and your, <laughs> and everything at the premiere, your whole meta universe of Todd Hall. Congratulations and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.